everybody tonight we are here hey Pammy hey girly girl hey cat cat I was chatting with you guys a little bit with my phone I was trying to get everything set up welcome to my channel if you're new here we do a lot of colorful eye makeup I like a lot of luxury makeup and so you get a really good mix of everything including a little bit of skincare I'm starting to drip in a little bit of skincare and we're gonna talk about that tonight thank you guys so much for joining me don't forget to hit like if you like the live stream if you like the channel please share it with somebody that's the way that our channels get noticed get out there and let's go ahead and get started how is everybody doing tonight Oh, you guys, I'm telling, when I tell you that you guys literally make me come alive, it's the truth. I am exhausted, exhausted. Hey, Daphne. Hey, Tori, how are you? Um, I feel, you know, I was going into the live tonight and I felt so disconnected. I was like, oh my God, like, I feel like I haven't talked to anybody or like, really like, gone back and forth with anyone as much as I try to like like your posts and like try to comment as much as I can it has been a whirlwind for the last two weeks I've been so so busy with work and just with home with everything but with transitioning back into the office like you know you're a little more focused naturally and so I'm very thankful for that I you know work is going great but I just feel disconnected from everybody so I'm so happy to be here um today hey molly hey maria how are you i mean see the, people like maria we're like on different time zones and so i feel like we haven't spoken when in reality it's in the chat where i get to talk to you guys you know um but it's just um uh, been a little crazy so i apologize for that because you guys are seriously my community um i'll tell you about an experience i had a couple weeks ago which just was so so nice but like you guys are my people and have become my people over the last year and a half that I've been on YouTube when everybody was so secluded and we were stuck at home and you know we have this makeup obsession or passion and so when I get to talk to you guys like it makes me happy you know but I was so tired today you guys and I was just like oh my god I cannot like last week I was with Aaron with my little one and it was just the two of us so there was no way I was gonna go live we ended up going to my sister's and just having game night and stuff and it was a really fun night so I'm happy that I did that but this week I was like I I'm tired but like I really want to see everybody you know in the chat and just talk and stuff and so as I started to get ready because I did not wear makeup all day long so as I started to get ready and I just started playing with my punk collection from Kaleidos I was like man all right, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this, like, you know, I'm just gonna play with makeup and I'm gonna make sure I talk to my girls and we're gonna talk about makeup and then I just kind of started waking up. So anyway, I just want you guys to know how much I look forward to this. We don't have a creator spotlight tonight and I also wanna talk a little bit about that so we can make it like a little Q&A type time at the same time, like I can update you guys on what I'm thinking. Um, I am focusing tremendously. I mean, I know that sometimes it doesn't feel like it because there's only two videos coming from me every week, but it's a lot of work in the background, but I'm focusing tremendously on like consistency and there's a lot of uh, thought that goes back into that. And so anyway, I'm just excited to be here. So we're gonna talk about new makeup. Let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. So everybody's, okay. Oh, no problem. Oh, Molly. <laughs> And I was just playing. So I want to tell you guys about my eye look too because there's been so much mess going on, you guys. You're going to just like be so sad for me, but I'll tell you guys in a minute. So it says, yeah, I've been MIA for ages. I know, I know, Cat Cat. And I see you once in a while. I know that you've been busy. We all get busy, but... And Daphne, you're so sweet. Like, no apologies needed. I know, but I just love you guys so much. I just have fun, you know? And uh, thank you, thank you, Maria. Oh my God, it's the lens, okay? I've always had like a pretty decent camera that I don't know how to use, let's just be honest. But it was the lens that I picked up that I was so excited about. It is, um, it wasn't working when I had my Pat McGrath live with uh, Kara and um, Dr. Ash and I was so sad because I, 
you guys, I know that you guys say you don't care and I do believe that, but like for me, like quality is so important because you guys are giving me some of your time. Like I want you guys to come on and have a nice experience and whatever, you know? And I finally got it working, but it's just been so beautiful. I've gotten a lot of good feedback on like um, videos and stuff where I've used my new lens. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah. No, 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 Ronnie. Okay. So here's Elvira. Hello, doll. And here's Ronnie. Okay. I want to tell you guys a little story. Like, let's do like a little story time. Oh, also, if you're watching the replay, please, um, I'll leave timestamps after it's all over so that you guys, if you want to skip anything or move around, you can definitely do that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to do that for you guys so that if you're here for new makeup, that's what we can stick to. So, um, this is where my story time begins and I was talking about community so um a couple weeks ago and I hope Ronnie you don't mind I don't think you mind but um Ronnie reached out because she was traveling to Dallas and I was like yes I've seen her on my channel like just commenting she's been a subscriber for quite a while actually like I want to say like October of last year and so I you know just through comments we've kind of gotten to know each other and our makeup style a little bit and so I was so so flattered and I was so excited that she reached out and so um she came and we connected and we had lunch there was kind of a little like um you know a little thing where it wasn't working out and then we figured it out we connected we had lunch we went shopping for makeup and I'm blaming her on like a current obsession that I'll talk about later but it was so so nice you guys and so I don't know I was just so excited so that when I tell you guys that I'm tired but when I'm here I get so excited it's because I really have found friends in um, in all of you you know in like the beauty community and it is not just makeup so that's what I wanted to say but it was just so 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 much fun anyone else experiencing a full-on monsoon where in the country are you Tori oh where in the country are you? I would love to know because here, I mean, it's been humid in Dallas, but nothing too crazy. But I know that there was um, like a storm that was coming up like by, by the Gulf, like Houston area. I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, oh my God, Molly, you know, like I freaking love you guys so much. You have no idea. Um, I agree. I agree, Maria. I think I was having a little bit of issues like getting it to work because I'm not a techie, you know? And I was like, mm-mm. And Kara and Ash were like, maybe it's not going to work. Maybe you should return it. And it's not worth the money if it's going to not work accordingly or the stress. And I was like, absolutely not. Hell to the no. I will make this lens work even if it kills me. <laughs> so we got it to work. So yes, thank you. Hey, Monica. Monica. My friend Monica. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Molly. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh no, look at this girl. She's like, I felt like a little stalker fangirlish. I was like, she wants to meet me? Oh my God, I want to meet you. And it was so much fun. And it was funny because I had no idea what she looked like. So I walk into the restaurant. She was waiting for me. And um, like, she knows what I look like, you know? <laughs> but then sometimes on camera, we look a little different. And so, well, not different. I don't know. I don't know. We just. I don't know. So I'm like walking in and I'm like, great. Who the hell am I looking for? And then she's like, hey. I'm like, oh my God. Like instantly like hugged her. I was like, I know you. I know your makeup style. We are friends. And we literally like sat there for like, how long was it, Ronnie? Like two or three hours, like just talking before we even got up to go shop for makeup. It was the freaking best, you guys. If you ever come to Dallas, like I will drop everything and I will go. Unless like if it's work and it's like big meetings and stuff, you know, but like I will make accommodations. I will meet you guys any time of the year. Hey, Shay. What up, girl? Library Lena's here. Martha. Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was just playing around with makeup and I'll tell you guys what's going on with my eyes. You guys are going to be so sad for me. Oh, my God. Indecence is here. Hello, doll. Hi. Pamela, Pamela, Pam. I'm going to call you Pam. Is that okay? Hi, everyone. Hasta que tengo tiempo de mirar. I know. So she, Pam, um, she's saying she didn't have time to watch the lives before, but welcome, amiga. I'm always so happy when you're here. And you're actually in Texas, too. So I was just talking about my friend Ronnie that um, is in the chat. I met her through my channel, and she came to visit me. So it was so nice. Uh, Daphne. 
Yeah, it was like three hours. Oh, my God. Marta. San Diego. I love San Diego. So I'm sure you know Martha, but I was from California. I am from California. I'm in Dallas. But I was in San Diego, like, literally, like, for work from SoCal, like, L.A. area to San Diego, like, maybe, like, four to six times a month, every single month for four years. I love that city so much. It's so nice. So freaking nice. Anyway, let me tell you guys what's going on with my eyes, and then we'll go ahead and start talking about new makeup. Um, but um, this has been happening with a few different shimmers, cream shimmers, regular shimmers, duochrome shimmers. I thought that maybe, let me see, I may not comment on all your videos, but I, oh, thank you, Maria. Um, I noticed that my eyes would get a little irritated here in this area, and it was right around the springtime, so I was like, okay, like it's probably just an allergic reaction, it's the pollen in the air. My sister gets those little like allergic reactions, like little dry spots, almost like eczema, but not really. Well, sometimes it would get so bad, it would crack, and it was so bad. Well, the last time what happened was that, um, I can't remember which cream shadow it was, but I put cream shadow all over the lid. I was going to work. I just wanted like a one and done look. And my eyes blow up, you guys. And this was last week. Was it Saturday or Friday? It must have been Friday because that's the live I missed because of my son. And my eyes just blow up and start cracking. I go to my sister's house and I'm like, hey, can we do skincare? Like my eyes are hurting. My face is feeling weird. And we did skincare and everything. And then right away my eyes like burning. And so... I feel like I've identified that like there's a like an ingredient in like shimmers, duochromes, cream shimmers, like anything with shimmer is bothering my eyes. And it's like, oh, you guys, it's like my soul. I, I don't I don't know what I'm going to do if that's what it is. I'm going to subject my eyes to shimmers yet again. I don't even care. I need to test this out because there has to be something in the shimmers that's specific to shimmers that is bothering my eyes because it just cannot be a coincidence anymore. And so that's why today I was like, oh, I was playing and I was like, well, I have to stick to mats. Like, I don't want to mess up my eyes again, you know? And I'm so, so sad. So if there's any like ingredient junkies in the chat, like let me know what you think. But it, it doesn't, like it happens with any brand. It's not just one brand. It happens with any brand, but anytime it's a shimmer, whether it's cream, whether it's like a drier shimmer or glitter, whether it's like a creamy like shimmer, you know, anything. It's about alien, everything, every, Sydney Grace, everything's bothering me right now. And it's been like two months and I'm just, ugh, my soul is like dying on the inside, you guys. I'm not even joking. I know it's not that serious, but it is that serious, okay? Uh, let me see, let me see. When you say Pamela with your accent, you sound like my grandma. I love it. Oh, Pamela, Pamela. <laughs> Thank you. Saw so you have a channel. Yes, she does, Ronnie. She has a channel. She's a darling. Um, okay, I get little dry splotches on my eyelids occasionally, but it's 100% eczema. <sighs> Maybe that's what it is. I just think that every time I use a shimmer, it's popping up. And it's like, like for instance, with this cream shimmer, I felt fine. I felt fine. It was Friday, so it had to be the like the Sydney Grace. And I'm not picking on Sydney Grace because it happens with every shimmer. But I felt fine all day. It was fine. Midday, it started to get a little dry. And then by the end of the night when I was at Eileen's, I was like, I have to get this off my face. I can't deal with it. And I've never had sensitive skin. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, doll. Don't, don't worry. I'm not... I'm just crying. I'm just, uh, no. Okay. So Pam says, is it on both eyes? No, it's just this one, the right eye. It, it happened a little bit here on the left eye, like at the beginning of spring. So that's why I thought it was seasonal allergies, but then it only happens on the right lid. And it got so bad this last time that it got cracked. It was horrible. Jamila. Hey, Jammy. Oh, you're not late doll. We're just talking. Oh, thank you for being here. What are you making for dinner? <laughs> My son made dinner today. I was so tired and I was like, I don't know if I can do my live. And he was like, I'm going to make dinner. Just do your live. It's okay, Ma. It's okay. So he made us dinner. It was so delicious. Um, Jamie had the best bronzer video. I was watching her when I was doing my makeup and um, I could listen to her all freaking day. Like, have you guys watched her videos? The way she talks. What, you know, I know you're from the Caribbean, but like, where are you from, Jamie? Because you are just 
so yummy. Like, I love the way she talks. Oh, my lips. me. Let me show you what's on my lips. So I have Kaleido's Flower Punk collection on my eyes. And on my lips, it's the, um, the deeper one. The deeper, um, like the lip clays. And the shade that I'm wearing is Cactus Flower. It's so pretty, you guys. Yeah. Pasta. You're making pasta. Nice. My son made rice. He made asparagus, like, in the oven, like, baked asparagus. And he made, uh, like, the... You know, at Costco, they have the crusted tilapia. That's what he made. <laughs> it was delish. I loved it. Uh, and good old Trinidad. Ooh, from Trinidad. Wow. I love it. Hey, Nika. How are you? Okay, here, let's see what Monica's saying. She's saying, yeah, it sounds like something is aggravating, something like eczema or psoriasis. I get those types of reactions elsewhere, but they also come and go. Okay, so maybe it's psoriasis. Maybe I could, like, believe that because I also get, I don't know if in my videos you guys have seen because I'm really self-conscious about it, but I get, like, splotches here, and it's actually a little dry here, and I get them, like, here, and sometimes they'll even come up my neck, and usually it happens when I'm under a lot of stress or, like, really really internalizing stress about something um and then i thought maybe it was an extension of that i i don't know you guys i'm just like no um let me see yeah so maybe psoriasis pam is asking if i'm using an eye cream with vitamin c no absolutely not <laughs> i think vitamin c is a little too harsh for that area um huh. let's get started talking about some new makeup shall we Woo! Yeah, I do too. I'm from Guyana without the accent. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, my beauty. Did you guys? Oh, just so you know, I want, I played back the whole live. Like, I was so excited and I thought, she said it was a Q&A, so I had to watch the whole live because Vicky J was on live today and I caught the tail end of it. Go watch it, you guys. She looks so beautiful at the end. Oh my God, that lip. But I got so excited. Um, but she just did like an impromptu live. So we were very happy. So hi, Vicky J. <laughs> Thank you, Izzy. I know. It's really, really sad. No new detergent. New eye cream. I mean, kind of ish. Like I rotate eye creams all the time. But nothing that instantly bothered me like the shimmer does. Like the eyes are fine with the eye creams that I'm using. And the moment that I use shimmer, boom, blows up. I don't even know. Honey, okay, first of all, you're very, very kind, Martha, but it was my 15-year-old that made dinner, and I do have a 21-year-old, and I have an 11-year-old. I was a young mom, and then we kind of spread them out because we were too young. We didn't even know what the hell we were doing, but do you see those, 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 those wrinkles right there? I look fine for my age. I'm not complaining, but I am definitely old enough to have these kids. All right, so let's go ahead and start talking because somebody just asked me about Teresa is dead. She asked everybody, she's like, right, can we talk about lethal? Let's go ahead and get started. You guys, I am so, so excited for um, a lot of the new releases, and I'm just setting everything up here. But um, there's some stuff that I want to talk about because, um, you know, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it here. Yesterday I was using an Urban Decay glitter and I wasn't careful removing it and I ended up cutting the inside of my upper lid. It hurt so much. <gasps> Today it doesn't hurt, but my eyes swollen. So, oh no. Okay. All right. So Monica is saying she hasn't seen the Lethal is Dead reveal yet. Girl, let me, um, let me just hook you up. Let's, sh let, let's start talking about what's going on here. All right. So, um, sorry, hold on one second because I want to be able to, um, clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Just want you guys to know that. <laughs> um, how do I put my show current application entire screen? I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so that's okay. You just don't see my face. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I'll look at the chat here below. So let's go into, I was going to start with Trenwood, but let's go into Teresa is dead. Why not? Why not? Let's go. Um, and I hope, I'm going to play a little bit of it, and then um, you guys uh, tell me if you can hear, okay? Let me...
All right, so you guys can't hear it, but that's what it looks like. I just wanted to show you guys. So it's three liners and it's this palette, okay? I'm gonna click out of it because you guys can't hear what's going on. So basically it's three liner, uh, three gel liners and it is also a palette, okay? She did swatches of the palette and it is just beautiful. I mean, what else did we expect? Look at this, okay? First of all, first of all, we love Teresa. Okay, we love Teresa, we love her. Second of all, thank you for being a smart girl. Do you, you know, she was thoughtful about the swatches that we were, we were all going to see. And so I absolutely love the fact that we got swatches on three different types of skin tones, okay? So this is already, you know, why it's so, so nice when you see a creator collab with a brand because they're thoughtful. They review this stuff all the time and they know what we're looking for. So I love that. These swatches look beautiful. And I saw the video. I'll link the video in my description box, but they look freaking gorgeous, you guys. And these liners, not only has she always, I mean, she has always said, yeah, we need the clapper, huh? She had always said that these liners were amazing and so she just kind of stuck to who she was and these colors are divine like i love these colors so so much i that gray is amazing like i just keep thinking you do like a light pink like one of the light pinks in the palette in the transition shade and then you put this gray as a base on the lid and you um and then you pop on like the shimmers or like the colors on the lid i think that would be incredible I just think she was very thoughtful about what she did and she did it really, really well. I've never tried Lethal Cosmetics, so I'm really, really excited. I'm so, so happy for her. Yeah, yeah, let's just do it. I'm sorry. Congratulations, Teresa, if you're watching. We are so happy for you. I know, like, okay, will I buy it? Yes, I will buy it. Thank you very much. There's no, no thinking that goes into this one. I'm just going to do it. I've wanted to try Lethal forever. This is the absolute perfect opportunity to try Lethal Cosmetics because I love Teresa and I want to try what she says is good, period. End of story. That's it. Sip. Mmm. By the way, today, you guys, you know, we're keeping it classy here. We're doing uh, Watermelon Rosé. This one's called Day Drinking and oh my goodness, it is delicious let me see what you guys are saying okay Teresa I love her I'm gonna know by season but I'll have to make an exception oh girl I I think you're making the right choice <laughs> this thing's gonna sell out in two seconds flat you guys two seconds flat I'm not a big color person but the swatches were so beautiful they were we need thunder clappers. Yay, Teresa. Oh, we love it. I think I'm missing one medium deep arm though. I agree, Jamie. I agree. So that's what I was going to say. But the fact that we even got three arm swatches, I mean, there's a lot of brands that I love in the indie space that make amazing, amazing products where we never even see somebody my skin tone. So like the fact that they at least thought it through and wanted to do three arm swatches to show how it would come up on everybody. The one question that I have is, you know, um, I recently read somewhere or found out that like when they do swatches, like arm swatches, that they do like either like foundation first or primer, like eye primer to make them pop a little more. So sometimes I feel like that's falsely representing a little bit because a lot of us don't go through all that trouble so I'm just saying you know I don't know I don't know but I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna buy it so I think it looks good Teresa cracks me up her stories I know she's amazing they look great but I'm swimming in shadow and I have to pass but I might snatch the liners yeah see that's my problem because like uh, I don't know I don't know Okay, so let's keep talking about this. So there's a huge jump from the medium arm to the deep arm. Yeah, I mean, I agree. And um, let me see if I can give a little bit of insight only because, hey, Pauline, I just saw you come in. How are you, doll? Pauline's beautiful too. Oh my God, I was watching some of her videos, you guys. She is fabulous. Um, so definitely go check her out. Um, I have like become friends with like a few of the indie brands, um, you know, just throughout this process. And like, 
there's been like like it's a lot harder to find not harder i won't say it that way but like sometimes like if they want to get arm swatches from different people when indie brands are dealing with like limited budgets and things like that like you know some creators will ask to be paid for it which i believe they should be paid you know they're working nothing's for free whatever but sometimes i think with like the hustle and bustle of a new launch and everything they may just say well it's just like okay we're just gonna do what we can and then move on you know is that thoughtful is that okay no i mean i think they're making money off of it so they should go the extra mile but i just think that there's a lot of like back and forth on the back end that sometimes we don't get to see and again I don't think it makes it okay. I'm just kind of trying to shed light on some of the stuff I've heard, but yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I very likely buy this and I probably would even, if I didn't like it, love Teresa, not so familiar with Lethal. Yeah, I'm not familiar with Lethal either. I do know that I wanted to buy like a couple of bundles back like in December when she was talking about it. She always talks about Lethal though. And so I had tried to look at it and then for whatever reason, I didn't pull the, the trigger. And so now I just feel like it's the perfect opportunity for me to try it. And I love her. You guys know, like, you know, we had a kind of a little, like, hiccup or bad experience here on my channel with her, which I don't shy away from those things. But um, on the back end, like, I've just continued to support her. Like, I subscribe to her Patreon. And, you know, she is the kindest, sweetest, most genuine human being, I feel, in my experience with her. And I just feel like... People like that should be celebrated and supported and I'm just so so happy for her so yeah I'm buying this and you know I want to try oh okay so tell us about the shipping Lena I haven't even looked into that um there will probably be a restock Nick I mean I'm telling you like everybody has gone crazy on social media today about this launch it's gonna sell out in minutes so she did say in her video that if there was enough interest there might be a restock there's going to be interest you guys there's going to be interest like duh I don't know I might I don't even know oh she said it was $37 I don't know every time that there's like such a limited release it makes me sad that somebody won't get it so sometimes I end up getting two <laughs> just so somebody else can get it anyway um oh it's day drinking uh Nika day drinking um you can find these I think I found this at Target but I usually get it at my liquor store here it's really good. It's watermelon rosé, and it's really, really good. I've heard good things of Lethal Formula, but haven't tried myself. What brand? Okay, I have never tried anything from the brand. Neither have I. Oh, look at the singles, too. How much is the shipping, guys? Can we? Can somebody tell me? Bad internet anyway. Lethal's tempting me, but the shipping is steep. Teresa's the only reason I'm debating. Oh, no. How much is the shipping, you guys? Some brands do not have any swatches on their site. You have to hunt them down. Um, well, that was my concern, too. Makes sense. I'd swatch them for free. Dude, um, I would... Um, I'll talk to you offline, Monica, but um, I would love to offer you... Um, not offer you. Offer, offer them that. Like, if they don't know that... There's people like you that are willing... I mean, there's people like all of us that are willing to do it. So, anyway... Um, that's great context, Yadi and Zidi should definitely reach out to the micro influencer. I agree, Jamie. I agree. I totally agree. Teresa's hilarious, but I'm going on a no buy low buy for July. I will live vicariously. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Unnecessary. Shipping cost changes everything for me. I hate dude, me too. I hate paying for shipping. Ugh. How much is the shipping? Somebody help me. $15? Okay. Lethal mats are fabulous. The shimmers aren't my favorite. Oh. Hello. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to look at the palette again. Um, I don't, I don't want to lie. I'm not going to try to play myself. I'm getting it. I just, I love her too much and I've wanted to try Lethal. So I think I'm getting them. So I will definitely try to bring a review as quickly as possible. Sometimes I do try to pay for like expedited shipping if I can. If it's just a little bit more, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if I do that so that you guys can kind of see what's going on. Camera Ready Cosmetics carries Lethal, but no doubt her palette will be on. It is going to be on their site. I don't know anything about Camera Ready Cosmetics, but they said a limited amount will be going to Camera Ready Cosmetics at the same time. Uh, it is not a U.S. brand. I don't remember where it's based out of Jammy, so if somebody can help her. 
I'm currently on a low buy. I love Teresa, but the shipping is too expensive. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So um, I remember a few months ago when the shipping was like almost $50. What? This was still when COVID was going on strong. What the hell? $50? Okay, Germany, you guys. They're from Germany. $50? What the heck? That's crazy. All right. So for um, Teresa's Dead collaboration with Lethal Cosmetics, that's a, that's a yes, I will definitely buy it. So let's go ahead and move on. How do I add myself to like this? I don't know how to do it. I want to do it, guys. I really want to do it where I put my face in here, but I don't really know how to do it. It's fine. All right, moving on, we are going to go into the next one. So we got this one. Yes, that's a sip. Um, let me take you guys now to uh, Trend Mood and just kind of check it out. This one was in my thumbnail, and I, I've been so busy, I hadn't really looked, but I guess it's like a collaboration um, by Becky G through uh, Tres, Tres Luce. Tres Luce is the way I would say it in Spanish. Tres Luce Beauty by Becky G. It's in Mundo de Color, inspired by Latinx culture and made for all. This looks pretty, but like that, I like what I'm seeing with the liners and stuff and possibly the brushes, but the palette's not really getting my attention too much. What do we think? What do you guys think about this palette right here? I mean, I hate to like... <sighs> I don't know. I always look at it like miss, um, like makeup craze, right? If we take out the pops of color, which in reality are the blue, mar, diosa, the pink, and passion, and orange, if we take those out and maybe sol, it's just a bunch of neutrals. And so I don't really know how I feel about that. Like, how do you guys feel about this one? Have you guys seen this one? Yeah, it looks boring, right? Hey, Chai, I see you, girl. How are you? Chai, looking all beautiful for her birthday. I mean, it's, I think it's cool, but like, ugh, I don't know. You see, here are the swatches. Swatches look pretty. I mean, I'm liking the orange. I'm liking the pink, but I have the pink in my Codeine palette. Um, shimmers are meh. I don't know. I don't, I want to support Latin beauty, but this is not gonna be it for me this is a skip for me what do you guys think yeah everybody's saying boring right pass 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 yeah so it was it was just something i hadn't noticed that was on there and so that's why i wanted to ask you guys what you thought what do we think about fenty lip plumper gloss first of all this is one of the best the best i know everybody says it it's one of the best gloss formulas in my opinion what are we thinking about this um this gloss you guys I want to get it. I think it looks bomb. I could go for a little plump action in my life. Um, I already know that I love the gloss. Um, so I'm going to get it. What do you guys think? And then do you guys... The only um, plumping gloss that I've used is the one from Anastasia. I think it was Anastasia. It was like the... Um, what is it called? Um lip injector or something or maybe it was too faced and i was like yeah i don't know like it it never bothered me it did plump my lips a little bit but i just feel like all juicy and plumpy and i i swole like psh, i'm getting it okay it sounds like you guys are getting it too and um okay let's talk about this one because color pop get on my damn nerves you guys already know thank you they get on my damn nerves because you know, the shipping fiascos. And then by the time as a creator, by the time we get it, like it's totally like, um, <laughs> cat, cat. Um, it's totally like um, <sighs> horrible that like it releases and then like literally the next week there's another release. So there's nothing that I can do, you know? So I'm gonna talk you guys through what I got and why I got what I got, okay? And I see that Jamie already bought this. People are loving this yeah 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 so i love it love it love it just like mrs unnecessary said i love it honey i love it this 
I messaged it to Kara and Ash, and I was like, you guys, oh my God, oh my God, you guys, oh my God. This is gorgeous. And we found a video um, with a look, and I'll put it in my description box or in like a pinned comment. You guys have to check out this video. This girl um, did this, this, this video, and it was so, so pretty. Um, Cat Cat is saying that it looks like RBK with increased pigment. Um, yeah. No, it looks freaking amazing. Um, I love the colors. It's been a while since I liked it. Yeah, exactly. That that was the thing. It's like we haven't bought anything from ColourPop in a while. And I was just mad at them because it's like, bro, why you guys release stuff like every single week? It's annoying. So anyway, what I ended up getting, I didn't get the whole collection like I normally do. I got the palette. And look at those swatches. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Those are so beautiful. Oh, my God. My God. Like, obviously, I'm gravitating towards the blue and the green because, duh. I'm loving the orange. I'm loving this lime green shimmer. I I'm loving the whole thing. I'm not even going to lie. I'm loving the whole thing. Um, so what I ended up getting is I got the palette. I got the bundle with the palette and the liners. Um, so I got the three liners and then for the glosses, I didn't get the glosses. I have so much lip stuff recently, you guys, and I honestly don't like the gloss formula. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion or not. Um, but oh, Mrs. Unnecessary saying that Butte Bean did um, some looks with it as well. So I'll check that out. Um, but I did end up getting um, the one of these um, cheek tints and I think I don't know you know it's all a blur once you check out it's like you're just freaking out trying to check out before it sells out but i think i got passion flower that's the the um cheek tint that i got i got passion flower the bundle of the liners look at how gorgeous those liners are and i got the palette and i'm so happy um you know i got it because i truly truly loved it and in my mind i was just like you know what even if um, I don't get it in time and I can't do the review in a timely fashion, it doesn't even matter because I love it that much. Let me see what you guys are saying. Hmm. Lunar Beauty Gloss. ColourPop is like the little boy who cried wolf. If and when they do a release, a bomb palette, people will be like, whatever, same old, same old. Dude, so true, Pauline, because they're just like sensory overload it's too much it's too much it's too much so yeah i agree have i tried the cheek tint formula no i have not jammy i've never tried it which is why i grabbed one of them and um you know just wanted to see i don't have anything like that so i thought it would be cool to try the liners are amazing you guys are gonna die but like i've literally never ever tried one of ColourPop's liners because they're always sold out like i've tried to buy the vault before and they're always sold out anyway so next so this is like a total sip for me i took like five sips because i love it that much all right next so i uh, trend mood box i haven't purchased a trend mood box in quite some time but i did buy this one you guys and i'm so excited to like at the very least do like a video with one look with each one of the little palettes and show you guys like you know the liners and stuff like that because um i have nabla but i haven't really dipped into it that much and then um but Morgan Turner, I feel like Morgan Turner is the one that's like, Nabla, Nabla, Nabla. And I was like, I need to dip back into this and see. And of course, you guys know that after green, blue owns my heart. Like blue eyeshadow is so beautiful. So I did get this one. Who got the Trendwood box? Let me know in the chat. Let me see. You guys are saying, I never try anything from ColourPop. The released, the Dusk palette the day before this launch. I don't understand their business model. They're freaking out of control. Hey, Caribbean queen. What's going on, homegirl? Be careful, please. No commenting. I heard the serum blush isn't great. Nabla has a nice Italian formula. Yeah, um, I heard that the serum wasn't great either. And that girl that I told you guys about, she's like, meh, it's all right. It's all right. Um, but yeah, Nabla is bomb, you guys. And um, I got the Nabla box, well, a couple of Nabla products last year in the Trend Mood box. And they are very nice, but it's the Secret Garden um, color story, which is a little boring. That's why I probably don't use it much. All right, so let me take a break here because I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys and ask. 
I always say that I want to talk about skincare and I just don't. And then I'm in transition. I'm thinking that because I did Shantakai skincare for I think seven, eight months, I want to do a roundup and I want to talk about um, like, I was going to say the good, the bad, the unnecessary, but not really because there's nothing bad in their skin line collection. But um, there's, I w I've narrowed it down to the top five products worth the splurge with Shantakai skincare. Okay. So I might do that if you guys are interested. But right now I'm like in an interim because when I went to lunch with Ronnie, we went into, I can't remember if it was Nordstrom's or Neiman's, but we ended up buying, a, like both of us ended up picking up a couple Sisley products and I got a ton of um, like samples. And so now I'm like so hooked, you guys, so hooked on Sisley skincare. And I always wonder, like please let me know in the chat what you guys think, but like I always there's people that will say like when it comes to skincare drugstores like almost just as good as like luxury like just if you're going to get things like botox or filler or this or that um don't spend your money on the skincare anything will do and then spend it on like injectables and stuff i don't believe in that although i do get botox um you know pretty pretty regularly um I just love, I've seen a difference in luxury skincare versus drugstore skincare. And I've always, now that I think about it, in my teens, I used to sell Mary Kay. So, like, I've always kind of done like the higher end skincare and I've loved it. Okay. So, I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about skincare? And I want to tell you what I recently bought in skincare that I'm dying with excitement over. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, Molly's saying the trend move boxes are such a great price for what you get. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Ooh, you got it, Jammy? Oh, I'm excited to see the blue on you. You do, I look so pretty. Has anybody tried ND or LE liquid blushes? Um, I No, I haven't, Nika. Um, I'm trying to think, Maria, if you're still here, did you get those, the Lisa Eldridge? A lot of people did. A lot of people got them, but I didn't get them. Let me see. Okay, so Molly has agreed to do a skincare video with me, so thank you very much, Molly. We're going to just talk about our favorites. Um, would you guys be interested in a makeup and chill like that next week or two? Molly, please, <laughs> please. She already says she will, but we're just going to come on here and just talk about our favorite skincare and stuff because... Honestly, you guys, as much makeup as I spend, as much money as I spend on makeup, like where my money really goes is to skincare. And I mean, even my husband, he's like a bougie. I mean, I was going to say he's a bougie bitch too, but he's bougie as hell, just like I am. Like we've got him on some nice skincare and um, it's just something that we do to like treat ourselves. And at the same time, like he really likes it. Like my sister, she's such an amazing, oh, my sister has an amazing skincare routine. Um, and oh, she just showed up. <laughs> the Mary Kay days. Yeah, Eileen has a great skincare routine. My husband does. I do. Like that's where we spend our money, you know? I keep opening eye creams. <laughs> I only have Chantecai rose water. Well, then I hope that my video is helpful, um, Chai, because I think I have a pretty good idea and understanding of how the products are supposed to work versus how they actually perform. No tea, no shade, as they say, but I, I will let you know. I'm trying some La Mer skincare at the moment, and I'm loving it. Going to try some from Sicily, too. <gasps> Maria, 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 you, <laughs> the one that I got, I got the Sizzly Black Rose, like, under eye serum. You know that one, the real famous one? I got that one. And they gave me... Um, um, samples for the black rose infusion cream the velvet mask the black rose mask and they gave me this one serum that was a total standout that I must buy like I will go I will take my ass to the drugstore and buy a drugstore moisturizer just so I can buy this serum basically it's called all day all year and it's like um, a protectant serum that protects your skin from like UVA UVB um, rays blue light damage but it protects your skin for eight hours and you know um, I don't it's tough with those things because you don't know if it's working or not but I do know that I my skin loves it like you guys 
Listen, listen to me, honey. I'm in 4K right now, girls. Uh, my skin looks good. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My skin looks good. And I think it's that serum. I've learned how to recognize when my skin likes certain things. And I think it's that serum and I'm dying to, to buy it. The problem, the problem is that I have kids that eat me out of a house. And I have savings goals. And, <laughs> and that serum's $440. 440 motherfucking dollars. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know right now. So, yeah. Just gonna wait. Just gonna wait. Medical grade in all categories that are some... Yeah. See? And for a while, I had my mom um, on um, CeraVe skincare, and I loved it. During this, uh, the winter, I couldn't use anything but CeraVe. It was so beautiful and rich and creamy for my skin. But after a while kind of just went down the deep dark hole of luxury man i might transition to luxury skincare right now i'm in biosans and tatcha space with little good molecule yeah but like okay we talk about this all the time like luxury and high end like it's all kind of what's the word subjective like it just depends on what you think is luxury or high end like for me if it's not the drugstore then it's a luxury and it's high end and i understand that there's categories for instance like with tatcha with biosans like i still feel like that's not easily attainable or accessible by a lot of people so i would still consider that a luxury in my mind um but then of course you have like la mer and sisley and you know shanta kind all those brands but um I, you know i have a little good mix of everything like another brand that i really like that my skin really likes is murad um, but my skin also loves um, The Ordinary and Inky List, which is more drugstore prices. So it just depends. Like, you have to work through your skincare, you know? Yeah, I heard the same thing, Nika. <laughs> mm. I got, like, really, really nice deluxe samples of the La Mer cream, and my skin didn't like it. And it felt just like Nivea. But, you know, I don't really know the science behind it, so I'm not going to knock it down like that. But, yeah. Um... <laughs> It is, she's saying, I will pretend that this is true. It feels exactly the same. When it comes to the science and the technology behind how they formulate the, the actual product, I can't speak to, but the feeling and the result-ish, because I haven't really tried Nivea, is about the same, is what I'm going to say. That's all I'm gonna say. Girl, side hustle at 14. I was 18 when I started selling Mary Kay. Yeah, that's what I did. If it's spendy, so be it. Yeah, it's, it really, it usually is. Yeah, same thing with me, cat cat. Same thing with me. Um, but I feel like because I have prescription products, they do all the, oh, okay. That's a good point too. Like if you're getting retinol from like, you know, your dermatologist and things like that, then it really doesn't matter, I think. Well, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, cool. We would love skincare for makeup and chill. Awesome. Okay, here's my girl, my girl, girly girl. It depends on the ingredients. Some K-beauty products have the same ingredients as high-end. Um, I completely, 150% agree with you. And it was actually my sister Eileen that turned me on to K-beauty products. Um, so you guys, I don't know how long you guys have been watching my channel, but um, last year I talked about some of my favorites and one of my holy grails that I would not let go of, I mean, I just wouldn't let go of, were, was my SK2 Essence. And my husband would buy me like the very large bottle, but not from not from Sephora, from Costco, because at Costco you can get it $100 off. And it comes with a pump, you know, like the really big one, the 11.9 ounce or something. And um, we both used it, so I felt like it was justified, you know. Hi, Lucy. How are you? Oh my God, how are you feeling? Yeah, just popping in. I have to apologize because I haven't been very responsive to you and it's just, I've had a really crazy couple weeks. But I love you. I'm praying for you. I hope you get better really soon. Um, So this SK2 Essence was like my ride or die, both for my husband and I. And so um, when we ran out, my sister, I was like, girl, I don't want to spend another $200. Like this is crazy because everything adds up, you guys. And so she told me that she um, had seen some videos on Misha and I have the BB cream that she also turned me on to and I love it so much and so we started exploring Misha skincare and th their triple their triple distilled or triple filtered essence is 
in my opinion, because I have gone through a couple bottles of SK2, more than a couple bottles, and now two or three bottles of the Misha Essence, it's an exact dupe. So I will, um, I do K-Beauty on some stuff as well, and we can talk about that during skincare. I love Dr. Dennis Gross, Kate Somerville, Brent, yep. All thems, all thems. Which blush shade? Okay, I swear by Elemis. Elemis? Nice. Mm. Yeah, I know. I don't wash it off either, Molly. I have the velvet one too. Oh, Pammy. I was such a touch of stan for so long. Um, oh, thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I try. I try. Josie Moran. I've heard a lot of people try talk about jo Josie Moran, and I love it. Devin, hi. Welcome to my channel. We're talking about Murad Retinol Renew Serum and the Peel with the Moisturizer. Ooh. Right now, for Murad, I have um, the eye cream. That's what is helping with my, my irritation. So I have the eye cream and I have the vitamin C moisturizer that you're supposed to use at night. But I've been using my Sisley one lately, just the samples. I don't have the real one. Um, so I go back and forth because my skin was a little sensitive. So I was backing off the vitamin C for a little bit. But yeah. Hey, Coco Laylee, how are you? Inkyless Retinol. I haven't gone down that path yet. I'm using Augustine. Ooh. This stuff is bougie. Talk about bougie. I got Augustine or Augustinus Bader um, through, what is it called? The place that sends you stuff for reviews. Um, it'll come to me it's not octoly the other one and they sent me augustinus bader e, that stuff is freaking phenomenal you guys phenomenal okay lucy's saying that lamar got watered down when estee lauder bought Ooh. hmm well maria's liking it she's using it so we're gonna wait for her review and see what she says I can only use La Mer if I get it from the CCO. Their prices are, ooh, that's right. They have it at CCO. And even at CCO, sometimes I go towards, like when I go to with my sister, I go towards that section. I'm like, mm, I can't. Um, I want to try their primer. I want to try their primer. Likewise, Jammy. For those with access to only JCP Sephora's, looks like LVMH brands are pulling out. Oh, no. Hey, Amanda, no worries. We already talked about Teresa's launch, but yeah. All right. All right, guys, let's get back to the new makeup because I don't want to falsely represent. I know we're just chilling, but let's talk about new makeup. So next, let's go ahead and go into... So we were... Okay, so we were with Trend Mood. Let's leave Trend Mood for now. And let's go. I'm going to finish off with Indie Makeup Spotlight just because, like, that eyeshadow is my jam, Indie Eyeshadow. But let's go into Chic Profile Official. This is another account that I follow. This is for luxury makeup, and I love, love, love Tavia. I think she is such a sweetheart. Sometimes we'll get into conversations in the DMs, and she's just amazing. Such a beautiful, beautiful girl. Very, very sweet. So um, definitely follow her if you like the more high-end makeup. So I want to talk about a few things. All right, let's go ahead and start with Chanel because I've seen a lot of people post about Chanel, talk about Chanel. Um, summer 2021, I'm not buying. This is boring. What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think. Oh, yeah, Influencer. You're right. Ooh, the Drunk Elephant Retinol. I love that one too. <laughs> I know, Amanda. Me too. I'm so excited for her. Arriving Monday. What's arriving Monday? Tell me what's arriving Monday. My Christmas launch already. Oh, I know. It's so annoying. Everything. Yeah, this is boring, guys. I'm not doing it. I don't blame anybody that loves to do this kind of stuff. I'm not doing it. It's boring as hell. Not my jam. I'm going to tell you what did catch my eye. I did for a second do a second take on this one. Um, and I... I don't necessarily gravitate towards face palettes. I don't have anything against them, but um, I don't, I've never tried Bobbi Brown anything, and I thought these were pretty. Like, what do we think about these? Is there any reviews up on this? Yeah, Pam, I agree. It's just boring colors. Hey, Marlo, how are you, doll? These face palettes, I don't know. Oh, this is like a cool toned one. 
it kind of caught my eye. If you guys have um, thoughts on this or you have experience with Bobby Brown, let me know. I don't have any experience with them. Um, for my deeper skin tone girls in the chat, how do you guys feel about this color story? Like it's kind of cool tone here. We've got like a blush, like a neutral blush, and then the bronzer, I guess, is supposed to be. What do we think about this? Tell me what, does this work? I can't tell by just the swatches. What do we think? Bobbi Brown highlighters are bomb. Oh, it needs deeper shades. Okay, all right. So yeah, I couldn't tell by just the swatches. Um, but oh, if any, if she still has these, if anybody wanted to try the Urban Decay, um, this hydrating glow thing, the hydrator, she might still have them. So just FYI, this one was too deep for me. Um, so if you're deeper than me, like jammy or deeper, I think this, if she still has them, you guys could hit her up. All right, let's talk about, okay, this one was a joke. I mean, no, okay, listen, I don't say this to be disrespectful to anybody, okay? So you guys need to know that. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody. Everybody has a different skin tone, okay? Everybody has different likes, preferences. That's okay. I love what everybody else loves. I love that you are able to choose. But for me, where's the color? I mean, Ronnie, you like lighter stuff. What do you think about this? Because Although you're a little bit lighter than me, um, you're still a little bit tan. Like, what do you think about this color story? Actually, it's a little more pigmented than I would have imagined, which if you look at all my Dior videos on the quince, I always say that. Their pigment does always catch me off guard, but this is just, mm -mm, no honey, no honey. No honey, no money, no honey, no money. I really love the Dior Quince too, Maria, 100%. I really, really love them. I'm just thinking like for, for summer, <laughs> you know? And like I have like eight or nine, maybe more videos on Dior Quince because I love them too. I love them. But this one is just so, it only speaks to a certain demographic and that's where I'm like, what? Come on, man, you didn't even try. But anyway. All right, NARS. As soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, yes, and yes. And I know some people on Makeup Craze were saying like, oh, boring, boring, boring. I don't know why. I love this. I love this color story. I've never tried NARS eyeshadow. Um, I did buy the Holiday Vault, but I gifted that to a subscriber in a giveaway. But, um, you know, I have my Tom Ford eyeliner. So, you know, um, I bought that six, seven months ago, so I'm gonna need an eyeliner soon, so I thought this was a good time. I love this. What do we think about NARS, you guys? What do we think? Ooh, Coco Lely's like, yes. Woo, have you seen the new Dior highlights? No, I haven't seen the new Dior highlights. I think it's different for NARS, not fond of the red person. Yeah, I think it's different for them. Some people were saying it was boring, same old, same old. I was like, what? I'm not looking at the same thing. You guys, I love, love, love greens. But this is going to be such a beautiful fall green. Like, come on. Come on with me on this journey. Then there's this little pink for, like, the transition shade. And then you deepen it up with this bomb-ass plum. And then even if you did this in the, like, the outer V, and then you did, like, this blue shimmer, I'm, shh, I'm all about this. Like, as soon as I'm able to buy this, I'm buying it. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, it's like a nice grungy vibe. Exactly. Cat, cat, what? She's like, yachty. <laughs> Stop selling me this. Oh, <laughs> I'm just, I love it. Come on, honey, be a part of this. Be a part of something different. This is Grunge Fall 101. I love it. I just love it. Um. All right, let's move on. Um. I think we're done here. Mac, boy even though it's one of like the most viewed videos on my channel. <laughs> but no, no, thank you. Um, I might be interested in this because I was talking to Tavia in the, um, just through messaging and she really likes this one. And she has the same um, skin type as I. So Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, that could be my jam. She's like, this is a really good product, especially for combo and oily skin. So, duh. Duh. This one caught my eye, you guys. I only have one of these Guerlain lipsticks. 
and these are for the fall but look at how gorgeous the packaging is that is so beautiful i only like i said i only have one guerlain lipstick it's in the shade i want to say it's in rosewood and i bought like the like the really beautiful case to go with it like the topper um i carry that in my purse and i still have it in my velvet pouch because i don't want to ruin the stones on it but it's so good i love that formula so much so i'm thinking for fall look at these these are so cute you guys this if you have a makeup lover in your life aside from you and you're thinking like holiday gifts things like that this is so pretty you guys this is probably going to feel like the velvet both of these and then the black but these are so beautiful it's such a treat you take the top off the lipstick and then it op opens up like a little mirror within the lipstick case and um the formula is really great it's not it's not anything crazy like it doesn't feel like the lisa eldritch velvet for instance but it's like this moussey finish almost like these kaleidos lip clays it's so beautiful i could totally see myself going for like this color here um i think it's gorgeous and i don't know i think my sister's on the chat why don't you tell my husband my husband that i like it i like it ysl clutch i've wanted a ysl clutch for so long you guys this color story is pretty but after pat mcgrath like she killed it with the pink so badly that i can't look at pink i barf every time so i'm not gonna buy that but um yeah that's what i'm thinking right now so let me um let me go to oh let me go back to trendwood because we were we never got to the skincare discussion so this is what i bought you guys I bought the new um, Selfless by Hiram skincare line to try out. Um, like I said, I was on Shantikai skincare for about eight months. I'm in between with Sisley right now because I really can't drop 450 bucks on um, one serum. Um, so I don't know. Ooh, you, you have three Guerlain lipsticks. Pauline, Pauline, oh my God. If you try them, you're gonna love them. I, I don't know. I, I can just tell you you're going to love them. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Yeah, the YSL palettes all look the same. There was one like that had blue last year, and that one was really pretty, but I never did it. And after that, I haven't liked another clutch. Anyway, talking about skincare, I know it's not makeup, but it's a new release that I wanted to talk about and one that I'm very excited about. I actually um, bought the whole line the other day when it released. I've been watching Hiram since he was like under 20,000 subscribers right before he blew up. And he's an ingredient junkie. He really does believe in clean skincare. He believes in no fragrance in your skincare. He also believes in holding brands accountable when it comes to skincare and prices. And he talks about luxury skincare, drugstore skincare, all of it. He's an ingredient junkie. So I really love that. Um, and he launched his own skincare. Um, it is uh, powered by the Inky List, so um, you know a very very reputable skincare brand, and he launched globally. I mean worldwide, you guys, um, on the twenty fourth, and he um, was it the twenty third or twenty fourth, and he um, also has like he's like committed to like having social impact with his brand, and. I just, I love who he is. Like, I love what he stands for. And he is just such a beautiful human. He, um, so proceeds of certain products in the line will go towards, for instance, providing fresh water, or clean water for a year for a person in another third world country. Or another one will go towards, um, I can't remember if it's like, you know anti-forestry or like some, something like that like something to help and I'll, I'll do all my research for when I um, upload my video I have committed to testing my skincare for um, 30 days before I do the review because I just think like how can you give an accurate review like you know before that um, honestly four to six weeks is ideal um, so I'll definitely test it out um, I'm so excited about for, for sure, I'm excited about the retinol and the moisturizer because it's summer, it's Dallas, it's very humid and hot. 
Um, so I'm going to test those out, but there's a mandelic acid that I've never tried. The cleanser is not exciting me that much, even though a lot of people are really excited because I bought the Sisley cleanser the other day and that shit's on another level. So um, yeah, I I will try the skincare though. I'm gonna hold off on my Sisley uh, cleanser for a little bit and then I'm gonna dedicate to Hiram's skincare line. I've heard a lot of great things from the um, videos that I've watched from people that got it in PR, but he was not gonna put out anything stupid. This guy's amazing when it comes to skincare. So uh, what is that on my eyes? Oh, jammy, it's the Flower Punk collection. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, okay, you like his channel, girly girl? I do too, I think he's cool. I'm only interested in the serums, yeah true the the what i heard about the moisturizer is even though i have oily skin i do like a thicker moisturizer at night and so i've heard that this one's really light and it does wear well under makeup so i might not use it as much at night but um i will still give it a good go for sure summer vibes and the army green one yeah i saw higher ingredients are pretty good price is good price is good we were excited when we heard my sister and i because we are avid followers <laughs> but we um when we heard it was through the inky list we thought ooh, like the inky list has like drugstore prices at sephora you guys for like amazing skincare it's not quite as uh low priced as the inky list but um also like you know, it's a sustainable beauty brand. Like they really pay attention to not only the ingredients that are going into the skincare, but the ingredients that they use to package it. And then they're going back and donating proceeds of the sales for social impact and change. And so there's a lot that goes into it, but I didn't think it was badly priced at all. So, and like, they're really f like sweet brand because I did post about them. And then today with my live and stuff, like, um, no, Coco, it's a flower punk collection. Um, I messaged them and I was like, hey, you guys, I just want you guys to know that I'm going to be talking about your skincare line tonight. And like, please let Hiram know we're so happy. We're excited. Like he did a great job. And they're like, they're very responsive on social media, which doesn't mean anything. But at the same time, it does mean that it's good people that are working behind the brand. And I like that. So, um, Okay, let's talk about this. Anyone here have the new Norvina Pro and Melt She's in Parties? Will the Norvina be a good sub? Okay, um, I know Coco Laley does. Coco Laley has that one because I saw her live. Uh, yeah, Kaleidos Punk. Can you talk to that, Coco, for us? Is it a good substitute for She's in Parties? And it's funny you say that, Ronnie, because She's in Parties is like my biggest regret you know like i hate that i didn't buy that one because it's so beautiful everybody that i've seen with that one is just beautiful ronnie i know um did a okay uh betsy did a good review and she owns both okay so maybe check her out um ooh, monique monique coming in with some product knowledge here i have the norvinas one through five and the five is better than the four i don't have the shoes and parties and they are very different hmm My sister has an Arvina. Oh, but she doesn't have shoes and parties. You know who a good person is to ask, actually? Uh, Ronnie is Kara. Kara from Beauty and the Frizz. She has shoes and parties, and she has Norvina 5, like the new one. Uh, wait, did you ask about the new one or Norvina 4? I forgot. I'm assuming you're talking about the new Norvina. Um, she recently had a video on that, and then she also... Um, has she's in parties so i know kara if you message her on instagram she will send you swatch comparisons on her arm because she lives for that stuff and i'll ask her too if you'd like me to um i have the new i have a new obsession with kaleidos jammy oh my god i didn't even know about kaleidos you guys so last year i'm sure some of you guys know i only messed with luxury that's just who i am really and but not when it comes to eyeshadow and so I started to connect with creators and so uh, Morgan Turner actually who is one of the sweetest you guys will see her on my channel this summer for makeup and chill um, she just like reached out to me and she was just like hey um I got um, I guess Kaleidos made a mistake and sent her extra PR packages and so she's like would you like one and I said oh my god I felt so special I felt so so flattered and um, she sent me a full um, escape pod PR kit and when I tried that stuff you guys 
the highlighters um they had lippies glosses the shadows they're so beautiful i will say though i do want to be honest and i want to tell you guys that like on my eyes i have flower punk but i wasn't happy in the first picture on my instagram with the with the pink lip i'm wearing just flower punk and i wasn't happy with like the depth that i got in my eyes and so i ended up going with um like just in the outer v a little bit with a deeper green from glam shop let me show you from the um the zelon palette um so i ended up deepening out the outer v with um what is it called I don't know what it's called. It's a Polish name, but it's like Blush or Blusk. This one here. So that's what I um, deepened out the outer view. With. Look at that. I have to do my video on this palette because it's just incredible. I just want to have them. This was a gift from Kara and Ash. I just want to have them on my channel. But that's what I used to build out the outer V. That was my fear with Flower Punk. Like I knew I liked it, but I... I know that I like to build out my outer V, and so that's the only thing missing in my opinion, but it's still fine. For like a makeup enthusiast, they're gonna have a deeper shade, or I thought I was gonna go for like a black, but this one was handy, so I ended up deepening out the outer V with that. Um, I have a new obsession. <laughs> that's when things happen, I know. Their shadows are unbelievable. I hate that they're foreign exchange fees. Yeah. They're just beautiful. Okay, she's saying she's in parties is much more grungy. Okay, and, and Coco Lely has them both. I feel like she's in parties has a very different color story from volume five. It's very, yeah, plummy. That's right. Yeah. Okay. A luxurious woman, you. I don't know. Who are you talking to, Chai? I wish I would get escape pod. I got a lunar lavender on my first. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you do it, honey. Do it. Send us some pictures. We want to see. We want to live through you. I got the Laura Lee new palette. Oh, you did? What do you think? Last night, and I'm very, I wasn't very impressed. Definitely let down. Yeah, I saw it. I don't have anything by Laura Lee, by the way. Um, but I saw it and I was like, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a rainbow palette, not something that I really was drawn to, so I don't know. Sci-fi green is my favorite and then bronze and kaleido. Yes, I agree. I struggle with kaleidos mats for deepening the outer eye, but the glitters and shimmers, are they're so pretty. Oh my God, they're so good. So good. Hold on. Oh, okay. I want indie without the weight. I want luxury on sale. I'm asking, am I asking too much? No, you're right on. Hi, Jean VA. How are you, friend? Um, okay, so Chai, and please help me in the chat because you guys know indie, okay? So when it comes to indie eyeshadows and you don't want the weight, um, tell me a little bit about what you want. Are you looking for color? Are you looking for shimmer? Like, what are you looking for? Because if you're looking for shimmer and you don't want the weight, glam shop is your go-to like glam shop is the place to be okay when it comes to indie without weight they're always in stock i love glam shop for that um when it comes to color i would say like without the weight you're gonna have a really nice experience with nomad cosmetics you're gonna have a really nice experience with mm, who else who else you're gonna have the mats are pretty light, blah blah blah, which I know pastel. Um, Sydney Grace. Although sometimes some of their singles are out of stock, but really, like a lot of their stuff is you can get it. The only stuff that sells out, and then you have to wait for restocks, are like palettes. But um, you can get singles. Oh, some palettes are in stock. Um, so Sydney Grace glam. Sydney Grace for mats for sure, and for creamy shimmers for shimmers that are gonna make you just out of this world shine glam shop is your place to go um yeah pretty penny for shipping it's like 22 27 dollars makeup maniacs is good with no weight also okay perfect what about indie without crazy shipping or foreign exchange fees um 
So, uh, Jammy Indy without crazy shipping. I mean, Nomad. Nomad doesn't do crazy shipping. Um, I don't feel like I paid a lot for Kaleidos. I thought that was good. Davina ships fast, but she's never in stock. Terra Moon ships fast for what's in stock. Yeah. I want jewel tone shimmer duo chrome goodness. Hmm. You're going to get a little of dual chrome action from Glam Shop. Glaminatrix is cool. Their palettes sell out crazy fast, but their singles are there. Um, duo chrome. That's interesting. I mean, fuck, when I think duo chrome, I only think of Alien Cosmetics because, man, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to think, girl. Um, it, it's one of those, like, you know, it's a give and take. You know what I mean? Uh, but I've had this conversation with other people. Oh, JD Glow. JD Glow's cream liners are out of this world amazing. Out of this world amazing. Um, we've had this conversation, though, like, amongst some friends here on YouTube, and it's like we're kind of getting over the pre-order situation. And, you know, a lot of people that watch YouTube and consumers are getting over it too. So it's just getting a little hard because it's like, um, you know, we post our videos and then they love it. And then by the time we post our videos, like it's sold out and you can't get it. And it's just a whole mess. I need my eyes to beam to the moon and beyond, but they are so big. Glam shop on the way. <laughs> Glam shop, girl. Man, Monique. I really enjoy Monique. Like she plays with a lot of color and I think shimmer glam shop you would die and go to eyeshadow heaven monique if you want some cheap duochrome look see there are only 250 okay i've never tried look see beauty um i can't speak to them but yeah so okay so let me just look one more time yeah amanda is very very experienced with um indie eyeshadow i'm gonna pull up indie makeup spotlight for the last little go ahead as we close things out to um to look at what is coming up now i saw a lot of you guys are already getting your temptalia that's wonderful mine's not coming till monday and i'm going to probably do like i don't know let me know what you guys want to see i was thinking of doing like a video for each palette because they're they're a lot alike and i'll do a swatch with all three palettes they're a lot alike, so I just wanted to break them up into three videos, so let me know what you think about that. Um, Teresa is dead, or Lethal is dead. Done. Buying it. I don't even care. Um, makeup, our Amy Loves Makeup was talking about these duochrome eyeliners today, and I was like, oh my god, this is like genius. Duochrome eyeliners, are you freaking kidding me? But one thing she mentioned that stopped her from buying them um, was that I guess they said that they never um, they never tested them in the water line and it was like what like are you serious like what do you mean so I don't know I just like how can you sell ugh, how can you sell eyeliners that you haven't tested like get out of here I'm not here for it um, I miss this Halo Moon collection, unfortunately, so I didn't get it. I can't speak to it. Uh, it looks like Amanda did, so please tell us how it goes. I didn't buy Michaela's collaboration. I knew it was going to sell out, but I just, I don't know. I just had bought a lot that week, and I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm just like, it's a lot of color. Um, I just got my blend bunnies with like, you know a rainbow type color story so i didn't get them and i don't know so okay amanda what do you mean you're getting the whole collection i'm going to try mine in the waterline oh you're getting the eyeliners okay yeah try them out and let me know um yeah i kind of feel like i missed out because i know glam light formula is really really good and i love michaela i've been watching her for a while on instagram um, I want to try these. I really, really want to try these. The Glam Light. I wanted to try the Pia Louise and I just haven't for some reason. Um, 
but I really want to try those. And then I just wanted to quickly mention, since I see this here, for Adept Cosmetics, if you guys um, have any um, interest in uh, an Inhydrin or Plain Jane, they might restock them as well as Codeine. So um, just wanted to mention that. And I think that's it. What did I want to show you guys? I wanted to show you guys something. Oh, um, Molly was asking about Cleona Neutral something. I don't know because I've been busy, you guys. Like, I haven't checked. Well, I'm really bad about this anyway. Okay, let's talk about this. Molly, if you have in the chat, if you know what's going on, please let us know because I want to know what's What's a happening? What's a happening? All right. The Perfect Neutrals Collection is our next upcoming charity project. 100% of the proceeds. 100%? Are you kidding me? That's incredible. 100% of the proceeds from this bundle will be split and donated to True North Aid and Domino Project 2 for the Black Queer Youth Club. <gasps> Oh my God, are you serious? The bundle will be released Wednesday, June 30th, and it includes the following seven shades. Cookie, okay, so Cookie is a tangerine based with sparkling pink shimmer. Linny is a shimmering rose gold metallic. Mags is a shimmering honey gold metallic. Shaney is a rich golden brown. With, ooh, this one's beautiful. Rich golden brown with a silvery green glitter. That one's so pretty. Brit Brit. A smoky brown base with pink, red, and gold. Ooh. Nick number one, a shimmering cool tone plum metallic and chele. Chele. I don't know how you say that. A satin mob with a warm base and a cool reflect. More details to come on Monday in regards to pricing and launch time. <gasps> I did not know, you guys. I did not know. Whoa, look at that. I knew I was going to like that one. Whew. Wow. That's incredible. Thank you for telling me about that, Molly. I had no clue. I'm telling you, like, Cleona, um, we've been talking to Cleona, so they might be coming. Dude, this look. Oh, my God. This is freaking incredible. She's beautiful. Oh, my God. Um, I've been talking to Cleona, so, okay. I'm going to have, like, a... How do you call this? Like um, kinky sweat moment here, guys. I've been talking to Cleona, and they're very, very sweet. Very sweet. Um, one of the sisters is too shy to come on, uh, but the other one says, she's like, oh, I might like to come on. Um, my sister's too shy, so um, we maybe we can come on for our next collaboration she's not talking about this one by the way there's another one that's coming with a creator she's like would that be okay and I said oh my god I would die that would be absolutely fine so if you guys feel so inclined um you know just letting Cleona know some feedback that you'd love to meet them on our makeup and chill I think would be helpful she watches all of our makeup and chills and so um, it's just really, really um, exciting to even think that they would consider coming on. And I just said, hey, listen, it's um, I have a very small channel, but we truly are lovers of your products. And so if you'd like to come on and I think it's cool when we get to meet the brand and like who we're supporting, because at the end of the day, like even though you're a very um, hyped, hyped brand, hyped in a good way and people are looking out for you type of brand like like we're still you know all of our consumers are spending their hard-earned money on these shadows and it would be so amazing for you to hang out with us for a little bit and she was like absolutely so um we haven't gotten a commitment quite yet but at any time if you start seeing her stuff and just say hey we'd love to see you on yachty's makeup and chill they would they would come on so we're already kind of there but just wanted to share with you guys what's been going on and you know so um let me see yeah so we're very very excited i'm kind of digging that neutral look you guys let me tell you why let me tell you why i know wouldn't that be oh and i forgot to say hi earlier mac glitter i i saw you and i'm sorry if i didn't um, say your name I'm sorry about that but I saw you so thank you for hanging out um uh yeah if I was forced to keep one Dane I'd be in trouble I honestly I don't know if I would keep alien or if I would keep um 
fuck. I'm like, there's four. There's Glam Shop, there's Alien, there's Nomad, which Nomad gives me like everyday colorful looks that I can wear to work. Um, but there's Glam Shop, Alien, Nomad, and Cleona for sure. When I found out about Cleona, I almost passed out. But um, yeah, so um, what was I saying? Oh, this neutral, this neutral bundle from Cleona is kind of calling my name, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, when I got my glam shop for my birthday from um, Dr. Ash and Kara, they included a couple of the marble shades or, like, just the shimmer shades in, like, these neutral gold shades. And when I'm going to work, even if I'm wearing color, but I don't want anything crazy, like crazy colorful shimmer on my eyes, I'll go into my Glam Shop um, singles and I'll just pop this gold or this neutral shimmer. So I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of digging this neutral bundle, you guys. What do you guys feel about that? What do you guys think? Mine would be Cleona Termon. Monique's makeup very good. Oh, you did such a beautiful job. I'm sorry I was quiet, but I was watching. I loved the um, the yellow look, the green and yellow look. That was so pretty, Monique. Yeah, you did good. So how are we feeling about this nude bundle set from Cleona? I, I don't know, guys. I might be inclined to do that, especially lately. Like, you know, I just um, uploaded like an easy everyday makeup look. I don't have a lot of time. So even if I just did like bronzer on like, the transition shade and then I grabbed one of those shimmers and just kind of that would be wonderful wonderful yeah so that's what I'm thinking Cleona stays the longest on my lids with uh, of all the shimmers um Molly do you use a glitter glue or do you use like what do you do when you use those same honey same Thanks, y'all. I like the purple blue look. Is it me? <laughs> I liked them both, but the yellow and green was my favorite. Ooh, that's a good question, Molly. Would you keep Cleona or would you keep Pat? Maybe they're in different categories. The way that I think of Cleona, and I think it's because Dr. Ash said it this way and I'll never forget it. Cleona is like the Pat McGrath of Indy. Even though technically Pat McGrath is considered indie, but yeah, I love watching. <laughs> That's cute. It's not for me, but it's awesome. They're doing charity again, and I hope they launch sales out for them. I never use glitter glue. Okay, so we use the same primer, yeah. Actually, today I used this one. It's okay. I didn't like how white it was. So I believe it or not, in the by the brow bone, I, you see this lime green. I actually have the lime green all the way up to my brow bone, but that's how white the primer is. But I will say it did make the colors pop crazy. So, okay. Yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at, you guys. I appreciate you all, you all hanging out. I mean, it really is supposed to be just makeup and chill. Um, and... I actually do this with, uh, oh, a tiny, tiny dot. I actually do this almost every night with Dr. Ash and Kara. Um, today they're out and they're having a good time, so we're happy for them. And um, yeah, I, I sometimes you just want to chill. And like, honestly, like sometimes I'm thinking about some purchases and I'm just not sure and I want somebody's opinion, but nobody in my house, literally nobody in my house cares. So that's why these are really fun. I tried it in my live, not my fave. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I and I saw you try it and then because I watched the replay. I was late that day. I'm I told you that. Um I saw you try it and then I was like, uh, I don't know. I was at Ulta and I was like, well, she was trying it. <laughs> Let me try. So I got a mini, they're always out of stock. But yeah, I don't know. I want the Gerard Cosmetics. Uh, I need to get it. You are so sweet, Amanda. You are so sweet. So I think that we have kind of talked through everything, you guys. I want to just make sure I don't take up all your time. We've been on here for a while. But this is what I needed. I've had a really hard, not hard, not hard. Stop. I don't want to sound like a baby. Very busy. Very, very busy. <clears throat> Two weeks. And 
the time with you guys is always so good that I was like, I have to get here. I have to get here. Uh, no P. Louise or anything about the big book. Okay. Jammy. Okay. Please keep us posted. Oh, oh, that's right. Monique. Woo! Monique coming through. All right. Gerard Cosmetics will have fit. That's right. Marlo said that on her live the other day. So let's just wait, you guys, and let's buy it next month because I do want to try it. Um, I don't think this is what I'm going to say. I don't think that um, Marlo Keenan's um, coupon like code works, but um, she has a link. We all have links, but I would say because we all know about Gerard Cosmetics because of her or most of us, I would say use her link. Um, I think I'm going to ask her to put it in her like link tree. Um, so we can all use her link to buy Gerard Cosmetics, but it's going to be 51% off. So I'm waiting. You're right. You're right, Monique. You're right. I love it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do too. I am Jen. Do you like the Gerard Clean Base? I am hooked. I have. Yeah. Cool. Well, anyways, guys, if there's nothing else, I mean, if there's anything else you guys want to talk about, we can. Uh, but if there's nothing else, I just enjoy my time with you guys so much. Thank you for talking makeup with me and just kind of chilling, hanging out. Um, I'm very, very appreciative of my son. <laughs> he was like, no, mom, go do it. Let me make dinner. And so it was really nice. But um, I just... Mm, I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time talking makeup with me. Um, I can't wait for my live with Molly as we talk about skincare. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you, Jean Vier. Love you. Hope you're well. Um, I want to hopefully um, bring that to you guys sooner rather than later. So um, after this live, I'll go and harass Molly via text, DM, and FaceTime if I have to. And we're going to bring that to you. So anyways... I love you guys. You guys, I had a good night. Thank you, thank you for hanging out. There's so many things that you guys could be doing with your time, and that does not get lost on me. It's just such an honor to have you guys in my life. So anyway, I want to get <laughs> She might break her no buy. <laughs> I want to just say thank you. I love you guys. I hope you guys have the best weekend. I have a really, really sweet video coming on Sunday. Um, it's not makeup related, but it's beauty community related, which, you know, the beauty community is such a big thing for me. So I hope that you guys enjoy that when it comes. And yes. Hey, Tina. You were a little quiet, but thank you for being here, love. Love seeing your face. <laughs> I don't have it yet, Coco, but it's on its way. So as soon as I have it, I think I'm going to do lid swatches, you guys, even though it's going to kill the hell out of my lids I just have gotten such great feedback on those lid swatch videos like it really gives you guys a good idea of what the pigment looks like and so I may do that I'm going to confirm with Amanda at alien if it's a permanent product or not she still wasn't sure the last time I checked so if it is I'm like fuck it I'm gonna do lid swatches I don't even care um so as soon as I get that palette you guys will see it um I you know, I really want to say thank you for using my code, guys. I am so appreciative of that. Um, it really, um, it just kind of helps her see, you know, that um, I'm sharing her stuff because I really am a lover of Alien Cosmetics. But I don't get my stuff any sooner than you guys. I try to get my videos up as quickly as I can. And um, when I like something, I just like something. My eyeshadow palette tag video is coming, so you guys will kind of hear a little bit of what I think about different brands. So, yeah. Yeah, I keep trying to see it, but that's just her swatch. Yeah, yeah, that's just, yeah, there's just swatches, but um, I will definitely get it up as soon as I can. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> they do kill me, and I do get wrinkles. I'm going to send you guys a bill for my filler, damn it. <laughs> just kidding. I love you guys. All right, have a good night. I'm not going to keep you any longer. Please have a good weekend. Some stuff I want from Alien is out of stock. Okay, we're going to talk about that, Coco. Um, she did, you know what? Let me DM you on Instagram because she did post something where she tells us what all her permanent palettes are versus what's being discontinued so that you can have that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed your time. I know I did. This was what I needed, to be honest. So anyway, love you. See you guys Sunday. Bye.